everyone. So in this slide, we will be discussing about their sources and effects of different air pollution. The source means the place somewhere some toxic substances are being generated. Then in the plant, ultimately produces some poisonous gases that pollutes air. Number one is carbon monoxide. This is a high toxic and dangerous pollution. Infamous for its lack of identifying color and smell. It is colorless and lack of smell. So it is very difficult to understand the presence of such locus. This point, this guy was extremely prevalent in homes for use in domestic heating before it was found to be unsuitable. And it has been replaced by much safer natural gas and things. However, this gas is far from extinct in human use. So what is its main point? Most commonly, carbon monoxide is prepared by combustion engine, petrol and diesel engine. And some industries where various petroleum motors are being operated. And what the effects of it? Carbon monoxide can have produced fit for environment and this is poisonous and it can continue to be dangerous on with air and ozone condition. Apart from that, carbon monoxide can make water toxic and carbon gases also it can produce in raw time in intervention. So this is a very very poisonous gas for entire green beans and entire ecosystem. Number two, lead. Formula chemical formula of lead is PD. And the P is for B. So lead has long been known to be dangerous substance. Once complete in nearby all gases in an aviation phase. But nowadays lead is not yet been not been done, has not been used in petroleum oil. Keeping in mind this dangerous harmful effect to the modern society in terms of environment and human health. Not human health, but for health of each and every animals. Because when you are using linear your petrol or diesel engine, that lead is being thrown away by the exhaust, and this air is inhaled by all animals, birds. And also, it is being utilized to some extent by suppose aquatic animals, etc. So, total ecosystem is damaging due to the presence of lead in air. So, government now has banned the use of lead as food vehicles. While lead was used in petroleum, lead is an very good lubricant for the other hand. Due to its property, we used to lead it earlier. As an empty of petrol, but it is restricted due to its negative effects of on our environment and ecosystem. Number three, for the O3. See, it's not inherently bad. The ozone layer is one of the major protections, it gives one of the one very good protections to maintain this anti solar radiation. When radiation comes from the sun, the UV, the ozone gas protects it, absorbs it to some extent. As a result, the ultraviolet radiation gets filtered out before reaching to our skin. So, when it comes to our skin, in contact to our skin, and then the harmful effect of it is to some extent nullified. So, Ozone layer is good. It succeeds. Ground level ozone is formed by chemical reaction between multiple different oxides found in air, which, when exposed on sunlight, can form new compounds and leave ozone as a byproduct. The majority of the emission which makes up ozone gas from the usual surface, such as 
targets the temporary processing, electrical interfaces, or plants, etc. And FM, ozone is dangerous substance for most living organisms if it comes in contact. Keep it in mind. Ozone will not be like that carbon monoxide will go everywhere. If you come in contact with ozone, the dynamic is bad. Just increase in ground level ozone has been left a notably effect on human health, as well as overall human health, too, and multiply and it has also some key effects of on ecosystem on land. It is seized. But there is some ozone layer, there is some ozone layer gas in our portion of the upper air level. It is good because it gives a protective shield to us from whom? From ultraviolet radiation and smoke from sea. That gives us light and heat. Along with that, it gives some UV radiation as well to us, which is not a very good thing for any living being. So ozone, ozone layer protects us from this incident. Number four, you know, nitrogen dioxide. Not very toxic. You see? Mostly in the automobile the industries, automobile factories, they mostly produce it. That is, that is is not the oxide which can react and produce ozone. But that is far from its native effect. Nitrogen dioxide is one of the gases that are one of the most common things and we consider air pollution. Thin, loud, and choking. It is one of the most visible harmful effects present in modern world today. And the amount of nitrogen dioxide production is day by day increasing, along with formation of new factories and formation of with increasing number of all automobiles in almost every developed city. So automobiles, factories, power plants, etc. If it's in addition, it being a choking and obstructive gas in air, nitrogen dioxide also has the quality to react with other agents to form nitric acid and organic nitrous. Suppose if water comes in contact with nitrogen dioxide, in seriously, nitric acid can form, which is extremely dangerous, and it can destroy all the aquatic animals present in there. And also it reduces the change of the water. So it is very harmful. And if you use the water for any drinking or any domestic or any gardening purpose, it is harmful for all of them. Needless to say, nitrogen dioxide has a huge effect of human in some life, increasing the likelihood of respiratory problems. In order to some of the most important culprit that is, that is responsible for respiratory problems within lung cancer in long run. Acid plates produced by nitrogen dioxide are extremely harmful. So, what is acid plate? We will discuss it later on. Next, sulfur dioxide. You can read here similar type of are source and okay, like just like NO2, nitrogen dioxide. So, sulfur dioxide is also equally dangerous gases for us to inhale. And all the factories are also producing this one. So, it is very much similar to NO2, right? Next, EM, particulate metal. What is particulate metal? It is something a lot more visible and tangible than the components like above, bleaches above. But it's no less dangerous or harmful. It's equally dangerous, equally harmful, in fact, having devastating powers to destroy our ecosystem and living beings. The matter generally consists of food, blood, and chemical byproducts produced for combustion or chemical mixing. So, by combustion or by chemical mixing, this kind of things, such kind of suspended by metal, metal, metal PM, is generated. Which is almost very much harmful for nature for living beings. Source is produced by nearly every single process involving chemicals, fuels, and more. 
may solve the details of it. But the data ranges from A1, A ranges from A around to extremely dangerous, often hampering visibility on roads causing respiratory problems. The thing problem is the main problem that is being that is being carried out due to business of particulate matter PM. It also damages heart, lungs, high conditions, eyes, and also like to increase likelihood of developing cancer in later stage. So if you are exposed to huge amounts of particulate matter, chances of their you may have developed from some amount of cancer cells in your hideous body, which is again very much dangerous to survive. So we should be avoid to avoid producing from particulate matter. So next is very important. What can we do to help reduce air pollution, raise awareness? And this is the key to success against for the air pollution pollution. Because if you are aware, you will not let this pollution increase. You will not be, you will not able to do such things mentally if you are very much aware. If you are not aware, you can do anything what you want. If you are aware, if you want to do something, your conscious mind will stop you to from the dangerous activities. This is the result we get in our life. Yeah. So, Awareness is the most important part, especially for young children, because they will be the citizen for tomorrow. First, time to minimize carbon cars and airplanes. As we told before, we should not use our automobile vehicles as much as we want. You should have control over it. Why? Not because to save fuel, but to save our ecosystem, to save our environment, to save our future generations. Otherwise, if this kind of pollution continues, then within 50 60 years, there will be diversity situation that will destroy entire living things the world. That is why nowadays modern world, modern scientists, modern engineers, all academic people and health conscious people, all are raising pointed voice against this health mission, against global funding, against this like, against uh, showing of harmful uh, chemicals or any substance, any kind. So we need to be very much aware. And this awareness will reduce us to travel here, to reduce us to travel here and there. And as a result, if we can control what our travel is, we can control pollution very easily. It doesn't mean that you, you cannot travel anymore. Of course, you need to travel in your life. Huh? And necessary travel, you can acquire. And you should acquire to make our environment free from these illusions. Next. Conserve energy where possible. Very important. We all should conserve energy wherever possible. That means if we can save energy by limiting our, the use of electrical instruments, you can do it. If you can conserve energy by reducing your energy, you can do it. So when you have you have a chance, you should fly them. Whatever, whenever you have chance, you should find them and you should be able to continue this for the rest of your life. And of course, you try to bring other young students, young children, and motivate them. Without motivation, it is very difficult to get the things done. So, motivation is always important. Even if you want to build some uh, aviators for birds, you want to plant some trees, you need. Motivation and that means motivation will of course come from consciousness. If you are conscious, if you are very conscious about the nature, motivation will of course automatically come within you and it can transform from you to 
your students, which will be very much successful and successful for developing a pollution free world. CRs, as I told you before, CRs are sensitive properties to control air pollution, to reduce, to reuse, and to recycle. It's your car engine tuned up. Remember, a tuned engine, a healthy engine, always contains less fuel and gives better mileage. A tuned engine always, always consumes less fuel and gives more mileage, which is very much advantageous for anyone who is driving motorcycle or car or whatever it may be. So keep your engine tuned up and don't put your engine to get started. That means carbon buildup in engine is also another issue, which also we should be taking care of. Because in India, where carbon buildup up is too much high, it will consume more fuel. And it will consume more fuel means it will produce more particulate metal, more poisonous gases, which is always avoidable. And we should avoid it. Next, keep tire pressure proper for in instant. That means your tire pressure should be accurate. Otherwise, the car will take extra fuel, which is also dangerous. Whenever take you will know that even more automobile, the motor vehicle is consume is consuming huge amount of oil. You can easily tell there is some problem of engine or any other part of the house. And those kinds of vehicles produce more petrol or more diesel. And as a result, they also create more byproducts, poisonous gases, which cause air pollution and very, very dangerous for us. Next, make the use of renewable electricity where possible. Installing your own solar panel. I know it is very difficult if all of us wants to want to build their own solar solar panel. But at least in near future, we can try that one power station, one solar power station per locality is there. And it will happen, I know it's obvious because the way we are living, the way our countries are developing, at least one solar panel model vehicle installation plan must be there in each locality. So, that is the, the number, this number will be increased. And as the number increases, we can feel easily our environment also getting more and more free, more and more. Free from dark, free from pollutants. As a result, we get a cleaner planet. So, cleaner planet is very much essential at this point. Again, next point get energy audit plan for your home. You should get your energy audit plan for your home also. Why? So that to understand that somehow no extra energy is being used in your home. Sometimes what happens, instead of one light, we use two lights. Instead of one fan, we use two fans. Instead of one electrical instrument, we use two electrical instruments or electrical panels, whatever you tell it, which is this kind of activities is not good. Whatever you need, stick to that. Then only we can develop. Then we can put it on nature. Then only we can concern our actual energy. Energy auditing is also important, which can be done at our home. And if all the homes or houses get this energy audit done for things for me, one by one, total emission will be pollution free. It will, of course, reduce spending of extra time at the same time. So, multiple benefits is there. If you get your energy audit done for your own home, Multiple benefits are there, starting from environmental benefits to economic benefits. Next slide is consider going green. What does it mean? It means there are various ways to go green without spending an extra money. For example, use public mode of transportation. 
Whatever you need to go about what is to another thing, do not use your personal car. Because your personal car is for at least for the friends, but you alone family. So in that case, if you use public transport, which carry lots of people at the same time, will be much more economical as well as environment friendly. Sometimes, so we have seen that economical means environment friendly. It is very interesting, very desirable, and very important thing to take lessons from. Next, plan trees and plants. So plantations, I told the best way we can save to mother nature. So plantation is one of the basic, easier and most suitable way to control air pollution. So in this slide, we, we told you we have discussed so many things about how to control air pollution and how to benefit us from air pollution importance of awareness, what are three arts, what we can do to protect air pollution and some source of air pollutants like carbon monoxide, lead, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, etc. So hopefully we have learned something from this lesson. So we will discuss more about air pollution on next slide. Okay, that is all for now. Thank you very much. Thank you all.